Okay, so this is a puff adder. This is a cytotoxic venom, and they have one of the fastest strikes in the world. Really? Yes. I know we we're going to talk about show jumping, but one of the youngsters here has a huge passion for snakes. Daniel, you love them, right? I love them. You love snakes? Yes. Like you even know the puff adder has a strike and it's a cyto what what venom and like you keep snakes. I have two at home. What? Kanjani yeah. Daniel, what for? Snakes to do what? I just I enjoy them being around me. When <laughs> I see one it just makes me happy. Kakizo, do you go near his snakes? Well, I don't mind them, but I wouldn't really go with him to catch snakes. Because? I just not interested in snakes. <laughs> yeah, no, you like me. Yeah, snakes, are, uh, 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 uh. we play very far away. Oscar, just before we get to the boys and find out about show jumping, because yeah. the snake thing just came up out of nowhere, <laughs> but show jumping, it's been part of your life for over 20 years. Yeah. How did you begin? Actually, I started when I was seven years old. Uh, a lady that my mom used to work for. Your she mom was a domestic, right? Yes, she was yeah. a domestic worker? Yeah. My mom was a domestic worker? Yeah. yeah? Uh, so the lady had uh, horses, so, you know, just fooling around. I went to ride one of the horses that uh, was not meant to be ridden. So, and then after that, she actually said, okay, I'll teach you how to ride. So that's where it actually started. And um, she realized that I've got passion and I've, I've got some kind of love to the horse, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that's, yeah, she carried me and started teaching me. And you've gone on to represent South Africa, the first black South African rider to jump 1.6 meters. Yeah, well, well the, it's the open class, which is the 150s, the World Cup qualifiers. So and how the, high is that? That's like as high as me, like this kind of height, like somewhere yeah, there, 1.6. Yeah, that's, that's the horse height. comes here. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. I never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> you stand there, I'll jump you. <laughs> no. Imagine saying me That's crazy. But these two, right? So. Kaki, so how did your involvement in show jumping come about? You're only 13 years of age. How did it come in? Well, it actually came in with a friend of my mom's. Her name is Auntie Wendy, and she had lots of horses. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and so we went to go ride at her place, and that's how it started. So you just jumped on? So she was first like teaching us about the basics and stuff like that. And then that's how she got me into Farnham and Nissan. So, you've got a horse, Vixen, right? Yeah. What did Vixen do? Well, I got on him the first time. Uh -huh. It was a very naughty horse. Didn't, the first time I was riding horses, I didn't really think about much things. And it would pull me down, I'd have to pull back up. And on our first outride at my fall... He took you off? Yep. Like, boom. Well, it wasn't a hard one. It was just a duck down really low and fell. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Face mm -mm. forward. <laughs> mm -mm. Face into the soil, off the horse. And yep. you're still doing it, still loving it. Yeah. Vixen didn't put you off? Well, he bent down, but I can't blame the horse. <laughs> Who do you blame? The driver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. And, you know, Daniel, You've got a favorite horse as well, right? Yeah. Who's that? Vixen. As well? You love Vixen? This horse that's naughty and that throws people off and stuff, you love riding him? Why? Uh, because he also threw me off. As well? Mm -hmm. And this is now why you like him. Mm -hmm. The horse that puts you on the floor is the one you want to be on. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand that. Why? You know, I love life on the edge. Oh, wow. I love life on the edge. <laughs> that's you, Daniel. And I understand that as much as you're doing show jumping now, you also have a dream to be involved in horses later on in your life. Mm. What do you want to do later? I want to do, I still want to do show jumping. Yeah? You want to show jump? Yes. Until, um, until what level? Like, what's your dream? Until Which... I'm like Barry and Laurie. What do they ride? They, they ride in the two meter glass. So it's like way up there. The horses jump really high. And then one day the Olympic Games, representing South Africa, riding those big horses. Is it a sport that you want like other kids to ride? I, yeah. I highly recommend it. Why? What makes it recommendable? It's just it's a cool sport. Ah, fun. And you get to 
know the horses and they can tell your emotions and how you're feeling. Mm. Now, that brings me back to you, Oscar, because, like, from what I understand, this sport is for people with, like, in your women. Like, you need plenty to be in show jumping and stuff. There's a development program that's been helping these young boys to get involved in it, but how do just ordinary people in South Africa, because you can't just own a horse and stuff, it's really expensive, how do we get involved? You know, there, there's, um, there's, uh, you don't have to own a horse. Like, for instance, like, if you want to start, I mean, we've got, there's a lot of uh, riding schools mm -hmm. that you can go to, and you can have a lesson for, for an hour. Okay. And you can do it once a week or whatever, and you see how, actually, if you like it, proceed to uh, twice a week, and, you know, th that's how you start. Eventually, you can, like, see how far you get and get a, and lease a, a horse, and it's sort of like half yours, so you're learning all that stuff. So there is a way to start. You don't have to own a horse to start um, short jumping or riding. The two of you, Kahiso, Daniel, you're both 13 years of age, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's the better rider? I would say... I'm not so sure. I think not we're so the sure. same. Same? How is it possible exactly? I'm a quick learner. So, are you the better rider? <laughs> No, I'm just saying I'm a quick learner. <laughs> what are you saying about Daniel? Oh, um, I'm, I'm quick. He picks up on some things just not as quick. Oh, mm. you agree? I agree. But you keep going until you win, right? Yes. And that's why you're going to be a champion. Yeah, Guys. That's why I came in third place. You came in third? When was that? Um, it was in, I would say... I'm not so sure. But a couple of months back? Yes. Third. Yes, One third. prize, money, the whole works. You mm. did the business. You see? So, slow. Slow is the accurate way to do it. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for coming through. Thanks for representing your uh, uh, sport so well. And we look forward to seeing you a little bit later on in the years to come. Coming back, showing me gold medals. Saying I'm Olympic gold at uh, show jumping. Can you do that for us? Yes. Yep. Great. Thank you, Oscar, for bringing them through. Oh, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah.